Hello and welcome to the Flash Professional CC Animation Tutorial Part 1. I'm going to be showing you a few things, how to um, get to know the layout and how to open projects, create new projects, use the tools, explain the timeline and uh, such things, import and export. And here we go. The first thing you want to do is click Action Script 3.0. That is the, the one I use and it's the best. Um, I think. And now, um, the first thing you can see here is the area uh, which the animation will be um, viewed in. This is the screen. But you can also draw outside of the screen. It's a shitty ass color. You can also draw over here and it will not show in the, uh, in the uh, test version or the animation. So yeah. But yeah, mm, this is the layout of a new project and um, here you can see the different kind of tools up here well up here on the right here and this is the description and properties of the, that tool which you have selected and here's the timeline and uh, yeah let's get animating well not just yet because um, I have to explain some tools for you so the first tool is the brush tool, which is right here in the middle, about, and uh, you can just draw with it. It's the it's the go-to drawing tool that I use. It is the best one, in my opinion. And um, you can change the size of it. That's kind of kind of small and too fucking huge. I usually use the smallest one or the uh, second smallest one, however you fucking say it. And about the tools, about this brush tool, you can, um, yeah, it has a soft, softening, softening, smoothing, goddamn, smoothing feature, which is if you draw a line, it will automatically smooth the curves and just smoothen the overall lines. It's good, but if it does that too much, it kind of sucks. So you want to keep it at uh, 40. I think 40 is a you can change it right from right here. If I push to 100, it just fuck up everything, and it's it's gonna look real real bad. Yeah. So 40 or 45 is the way to go. Now it's the 40. And you can change the color from here. This is the color for the brush tool and the ink bucket tool, which which just um, colors anything, the inside of anything. Like it would in paints and such. So yeah, so you can change the color of those two from here. It has a big variety of colors and uh, you can get even more from here. This is like the full slider of every fucking color in the book. So have fun with that. And the next thing is, well, you can zoom the thing here from show frame, fit in window and you can just 200%, 25%, or you can write something like 10%, or you go 10%, such. And, but yeah, show frame is good because it shows the fucking frame. Next thing is the eraser. I'm gonna draw something here. There we go. The eraser, and it just erases. Ta da! That's what it does. If you have a tablet pen, usually the back end of the tablet uh, pen will work as a smaller eraser like that. And that's about it, really, about the eraser. It erases. Holy fuck. I'll draw something again. Now there's the... Um, and the eraser was down here. This is the eraser. Um, then there's the bucket tool that will color anything. And the quick button for it is K. So if you press K, you, you'll get it. And the quick button for the brush is B. You press B, you get the brush. You press, press K, you get the ink buckets. And you can just click anywhere and it'll just color it. As easy as that. And then... What's next? Well, we, we talk about this thing. The selection tool. And it's up here. The uh, black arrow. Selection tool, yes. And the quick button for it is V. And uh, if I draw something here, it'll just... Select it. And you can move it around. 
but not do much else. But you can modify it like this, and it's really weird. Then there's the Q button, which which is the quick button for a free transform tool, and you can use it to stretch anything and everything. Or spin around, oh shit, or um, spin it around like so, or just um, tweak like this in in any direction you want. Now, next up, um, what should I talk about next? Hmm, well, here's this. The pencil tool, and it, it I don't like it, I never use it. Whoops. The pencil tool, quick button is... Why? Why? Why indeed? Now, the pencil is really, really um, small. It's like one pixel, I think. Whoa, what the fuck happened there? No, no. So, yes. You can change the way of the... Well, I don't really fucking know. I never use this thing. Then, well, there are kind of like I was dashed, and uh, there are different kind of uh, kinds of. The fuck is that? You can change the thickness of it from here, and this is like really, really fucking thick. Oh, whoops! It's on stippled. Hairline, please. God damn it! Hairline, please. Yes, stop. Oh god, what the fuck? Nah, get out of here, oh my god. Um, cut, cut. Okay, we're back. And that was the <laughs> that was that was the pencil tool. You can just draw with it. God damn it. This is like I have this reflex that every time when I have to draw in flash, I just automatically click the B button, which activates the brush. Not the pencil. The pencil um it has the it has kind of a smoothing too to it, but it's really really weird. It's just whatever you draw it makes in smooth lines, though those lines can be really shitty sometimes. And that is what I why I don't use it. Next up we have the timeline right here. And if I open something, for example, uh what should I open? Well, let's open Lewis from my Mystery Scars animation. Come on, there we go. There he is. This thing, if you can remember it. I shoved it into Tumblr a few days ago. Well, I think. Oh, yeah, two days ago, I think. So, yeah, Lou is here. He's made frame by frame. And he just kind of rocks out. Except that the background isn't working properly, goddammit. There we go. There he is. Rocking the fuck out. And shining. And this thing has like a million trillion fucking shine effect and such. And it's fucking crazy. So. But I'll, I'll get to this. Like how to make those shiny outlines and stuff. I'll get to that. But later. And uh, yeah. Um, what the hell was I supposed to? Oh yeah. The timeline. <laughs> God damn it. This is the timeline, and here you can see the timeline, which is right the fuck here. This thing, this this that goes goes on for thousands and thousands of fucking frames, and um, these are individual frames. These things right here. Da, 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 da. Times a, and you can make this fucking animation. Thump 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 thump. So yeah, those are frames. But now what I'm going to do is show you all the different kinds of frames there are. There's a blank keyframe, which is just a, a blank keyframe, there's nothing on it. But as soon as I draw on it, it'll change into a normal keyframe. You can see how the uh, it changes color and everything when I draw something on it. And there's a happy little fucking fella. It's it's Discount Kirby. <laughs> yes, beautiful. Now we have our Discount Kirby, Snurby, and Snurby is a just one frame. And if we want to continue the same frame to an extent, we can press F5. That'll give us a new new frame, not a new keyframe, just a frame. It's a continuation of the same picture. And now if we want to uh, modify the picture itself, 
but keep the um, previous picture, we can press F6, which gives us a new keyframe. And in the new keyframe, if I, for example, change this expression, it'll just, it'll change. It's a completely new, copy pasting a, uh, it's like uh, pasting the same picture on a new piece of paper and you can just modify it, erase stuff and do anything. Yeah, there's our surprised Snurby and now Snurby has two faces. And if you want to make a completely new Snurby, we can press F7. It's gonna give us a new blank keyframe, which has nothing on it. So yeah, that's that's basically frames, how they work. God damn it, I did not structure this well, holy shit. Um, now, if you want to bring something into Flash from other places, you can, uh, like, for example, I brought this background, I made it in um, Fire Alpaca, this thing. It's really good, it's like uh, Paint Tool Cyber 3, I, I do recommend it. But yeah, now, um, if you want to bring something into the animation, you can always go, you can go here. Uh, click file and import import to stage will import it straight onto here and import to library Will import it into the library Which is gonna appear here and there's like not now there's nothing there but still <coughs> You can just Take it and drag it over here onto the screen and it'll just appear there, but yeah Import to stage this time What do we have here? We have two backgrounds. Nice um, I'm gonna Put this from my Shiro Mori, Shiro Mori um, animation and it just poof, now it's there. It's in the animation. Ta da! It's that easy. And it's in the library too, so if I accidentally go and delete this thing, I can just drag it from here and it's back in the frame. Very simple and really good. Now, um, about sound. Sound exporting is a bit different. Um, you can export, uh, you can import sound only to library, and it has to be um, ABI. Dot ABI. That's the only way how it'll work. Uh, I wonder could I open something? Uh, I um, I'm running out of fucking time. Um, let's try shoving some music in here. Um, import, import to library and desktop, for example, sounds, and I have all kind of kind of stuff in here. Um, explosion. Let's try explosion. Open. Now, now it imported it. It's right in here. Explosion MP3. Oh, it's MP3. So I guess you can. It's only in some versions can you import MP3 as well, but ABI is the go-to. Now if you go to the... Oh, and you can make layers from here. This is new layer, new folder and delete layer. And you can even rename them from the properties. We just rename this to sound. Ta-da! And you can move them around by just dragging on them. So now if we put a new keyframe over... No, just a new frame. F5 new frame here. Ta-da! Yeah, it's blank. So I'm gonna just... Shiromari. I'm sorry, little Kirby. You can't. You, you can't be here. My God. Well, actually, you can't. Just hang out. Hang the fuck out. Now, if you go here, sound, it's gonna show us the properties of this layer itself, and the blank blank frame here. And if we go to sound, name, it should have the thing you have in the library right here. And if you click on it, it'll just appear here. That shit that you hear. May, possibly, maybe here, I don't know if I um, enabled <laughs> the... Oh fuck, I probably should have. Well, anyways, it's right here now, and... God damn. Okay, back. And uh, you can hear it right here. Boom, I hope you can hear it. So yeah, that's the sound bite we have here. If you can't hear it, I'm really sorry because I can certainly hear it and it, it exists. It's right here. It works. Oh, and you should do this. Go to sync and um, it's normally in events, which means you can, if you scroll around, you can't hear the 
sound as you scroll, scroll around, that, that kind of sucks. So you have to change this into, into from event to stream and you can hear the sound in bits as you drag along and that'll help you uh, sync the music to the animation you're doing or rather sync the animation you're doing to the music <clears> oh <throat> god so yeah that's sound i hope you understood that and i have to go soon because this is like 15 minutes long 16 i don't know i'm rambling way too much how to save um control s or just go to file and save as untitled and there's ton of stuff in here spoilers probably and test I, I suppose and save it as flash yes and now it's there if you if you want to test your animation just press control enter and it plays this which makes no fucking sense at all <laughs> with the sound oh about the sound um, if you want it to sound like not completely like a fucking bullshit you can go here Go to preferences, and this is the wrong fucking place. Again, go to file and publish settings. Publish settings, Jesus. Go here, the audio stream, and change this to um, around 80 kbp, kbps. I don't know what the hell that is. And OK, and OK. And now it sounds even better. Like it's supposed to. It's, it'll, it'll get compressed if you don't do that. Oh, this is gonna be an editing hell, holy fuck. <clears throat> and now, finally, if you want to take your beautiful animation that you have created, which in, in our case sucks fucking ass, I didn't do anything. But in the next video, we will start actually animating, like, movements. So, stick with me. Um, export. Export movie. And it'll uh, give you options of animated GIF, SWF, Flash movie, um, and just as pictures, like repetitive pictures, frame by frame, that really sucks. So just go with SWF or animated GIF and save. Or if you want to um, get the, uh, um, God damn it! if you want like MP3, uh, MP4 or AVI, you can go here, export video. And it'll actually export it as, um, God damn it. Um, QuickTime.mov. Yes test.mov and if you wait we export it yeah 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 whatever the fuck and now it's there now it now it exists if we go to my um, here and my projects and we go to test test where the fuck are you test there it is and if we play it quick time player because why the fuck not <sighs> quick time where are you there you are Come over here. There's our fucking Kirby. Yay! Press play. And it plays the whole fucking thing. So yeah, I think that's everything. Um, I'll see you in the next part Well, I when I am going to start um, teaching how to draw animation. How to do stuff like this. So yeah, see you then.